Oh, yo, uh, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back. It's Mark, the uh, table tennis enthusiast uh, from Kainsham. Just about to set up Kainsham Table Tennis Club tonight. Um, tonight I want to kind of bring uh, a debut to YouTube to uh, my guy Coz. Um, so he's going to be playing me a bit later on tonight. Going to get a bit of footage from tonight's uh, session. Then uh, a few thoughts on my weekend table tennis. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, see you very soon. All right, then, this is me versus Coz. Uh, let's go. So, do up to that. First one, three games. Yep. Okay, level. Yeah. Oh, 
parents. <laughs> so for that.
Six three. Jeez. Uh, 
So the sweaty hair is back. Um, so that means I've finished the session tonight at Kingsham Table Tennis Club. Uh, congratulations, uh, Cos, for beating me tonight, um, as you saw in that footage there. Really intense game, <laughs> lots of great points in it. Um, and yeah, should um, yeah, build confidence and, you know, do good things hopefully in the ne league next season. Um, so yeah, just looking back on the, uh, the week we just had in table tennis in my little part of the world. Um, Monday night we had our Bath Table Tennis Club. Uh, so Bath Table Tennis Club, uh, we had 21 people down there this week, which was great. You know, again, a strong mixture of uh, women and, and men playing. And yeah, had a really um, yeah, good time. A lot more doubles play being played, trying to get the room moving and stuff. We had a couple of comments saying that, you know, why don't we try and keep more singles so that, you know, potential league players there can practice more. You know, I took that on board, trying to keep singles for as long as we could. Um, but then ultimately, I don't want to see people sat around. I mean, table tennis is a sport, you know, hopefully to be enjoyed and, and played. Uh, singles or doubles in you know in the right way so yeah I think the room worked pretty well in the end and yeah lots of positive um, feedbacks after that I will be asking people ask a few people already just for contact details um, so part of their commitment for the league is to see who's coming to these sessions and you know build up um, you know some data of of players so that we can uh, keep a track of you and make sure that we're running right sort of sessions um, run newsletters ask for feedback um, and yeah, hopefully see many of um, the non-league players, if you like, um, playing in the league in the very near future. So yeah, some really good players coming down as well. Special mention to uh, who came to my Kingsham club, Alex E. So Alex Evans, I think his name is. Yeah, really, um, really good player so far that we've on earth. Great um, short backhand attack. I won't give too much of your game away, Alex. Yeah, applies himself really well to the room and yeah, really good addition to the sort of Bath and um, Kingsham table tennis scene at the minute. Uh, so that leads me on quite nicely to Kingsham Table Tennis Club tonight. Again, a very full house. We had about eight, 18, 19 of us in the room. So again, we had uh, you know players like the under-15s champ Joshua. Then we had Andy Quinn, local uh, league player now. And yeah, some really epic battles going on all across the room. Um, strong players in Wee and Kinney. An improver player has got to mention Charlie P, who's really stepped up his game, tried to incorporate more chop and spin into his game, um, along with more positive forehand attack. So yeah, some really good progress being made by the young um, and slightly older players alike, which was great. And then obviously, like you saw there, we played Coz. Um, Coz is another sort of new player to the, the local table tennis scene. I mean, again, he's, he's made a couple of comments, I hope you don't mind me saying this, Coz, that, you know, when you were first kind of trying to look for table tennis clubs very locally, it was very hard to, to find an open session. So that's why I think these sessions are, you know, invaluable to getting players uh, playing table tennis, you know, of all ages. And yeah, just make sure that we grow our, um, you know, player base here in the Southwest. Yeah, really epic game as well, Cos. And I appreciate um, you staying behind playing that game. And yeah, hopefully um, next week, I think I've got Jonathan lined up to play. Um, so that should be a good game uh, at the end of the session to bring you as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me, really. Our local Kingsham Key Centre team, um, my A team, we played on the, when did we play? Wednesday night, we were playing the C team in the Restricted Cup. So for those who don't know, the Restricted Cup in Bath is for Divisions um, 1 and 2, so the, the two lower leagues, with the Premier being excluded from this cup. So we managed to draw our C team at home, so a uh, little local derby. Uh, we managed to come through that with uh, maximum points and you know played out the full game so that our C team got valuable experience so they can take that back into the league. Um, so noticeable results for um, Nick C, or as came from Table Tennis Club now, as left-handed Nick. You know, he played really well against some of our players, um, took one of the games to five, as did um, our sponsor of these great um, polo shirts, um, Timpson's Garages, uh, Matt Timpson. And he, uh, yeah, and he took a cheeky set of his uncle, uh, Chris Wood. So he's our top player. That's the last game of the night. So I'm really pleased that our team accommodated and played all the games in a good spirit. 
and we're through to the semi-finals now that cup so there could be potentially i don't want to jinx it now but probably have we could potentially be some silverware coming our way uh fingers crossed we can get through this uh through this next game um but yeah that's it um thank you very much for watching um make sure you you know like subscribe share the content and um yeah send any suggestions and ideas of what you want me to do or talk about in the next couple of sessions but anyway as you see i'm lacquered so i'm gonna go to bed uh, maybe get some food and i will see you uh next week many thanks Bye bye